Hey y'all, what's up? I'm back. I'm back again. Let me see. Let me see if anybody come in here. I don't even know what time it is. I got my watch on. I just came in here. Hey, y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Joy. Thank you for tuning in. And if you don't catch this live while I'm live, then surely you can come back and catch the replay. Again, I'm not gonna be on here real long. I am just coming on here to let someone know that st stop waiting for the situation to be perfect. Stop waiting for whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing. Stop trying to, well, first let me get me together first. Oh, I, you know what? Let me get me together. Stop it. Just do it. It don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. It's okay that it's not perfect. Honestly, all the successful people that I know they didn't wait for their situation for whatever it is to be perfect. They just did it. Like, just do it. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. It really does not matter. So that's really, that's my message today. I don't even have a lot to say. Um, just do it. Whatever it is that you... That God told you to do, just do it. You don't have to wait for anything to be perfect because you're not God. God is God. He makes every crooked path straight. Okay? So, do what he told you to do. Stop putting off what he told you to do. Stop worrying about what people are going to say. It doesn't matter who says what. It really doesn't matter, especially if you're doing what God told you to do. If God is for you, it doesn't matter who's against you because can't nobody beat God, period. Like, can't nobody beat him. That's just that, you know? And surely if he gave you the business idea, He's definitely going to send the customers and the clients your way. No matter what it is, what product or service it is that you're selling, if it's definitely, if it's something that God told you to do, do it. And he's going to, you know, send, he's going to send the clientele. So don't let people discourage you. Don't let people make you think that you got to wait until it's perfect before you put out whatever product or service it is that you maybe that you have or that you um, would like to offer. And I'm not even really on here to try to, I'm not even really here to promote my website, although it is up and running. I literally built my own website, Living With Joy LLC, with no experience. I mean, I had a little bit of experience with building a website before, but that was years ago. I did it all by myself. So I'm a one woman show. Um, you know, navigate through it the best way you can. It's some options. I mean, I definitely want you guys to scroll through it and see everything. Um, I do understand that the mobile version is showing a lot differently than the desktop format and how I designed it. It didn't give me the option to design it technically for a mobile format. Um, but regardless, it's up, it's running. I'll work through it. You know, I'll get to it when I get to it. Um, I'm actually, of course, I'm on a little battery. Um, but yeah, so that's really all that I came on here to say. Just do what God told you to do. I mean, obey God, period. Like imagine, imagine you trying to do what I'm doing, but God told you to do something else. So now you're going to disobey God. And surely, who, I mean, who wants to disappoint him? Y'all shouldn't be worried about trying to please people. No way. Like, I know I'm not here to please people. And I'm okay 
I'm okay with knowing that I'm not going to please everybody. I had to get to that point. I used to always want to please people and do what I think that people wanted me to do or say the things that I thought people wanted me to say or wear my hair how I thought people wanted me to wear or be in a religion that I thought that people would want me to be in or whatever the case may be. Just do you. Hey, Keisha, just do you. You know, don't worry about it. If God told you to do something, just do it. Like, that's it. Don't wait for it to be perfect. Just do it. Like, he'll perfect it as time moves along, you know? A lot of us get into that, um, like, we, we, we hold our own self back. We stay stagnant and we hold our own selves back. All because... God then told us to do something. He then gave us the business idea. He probably even gave you a strategy on how to go about and do it. And you like, okay, God, well, wait, let me do this first. Okay, God, I, thank you, God, but wait, let me do that first. Like, that's not how it worked. I mean, that's how we want it to work, but yo, just do it when he told you to do it. Like, that's just that on that. Um, I really don't have much to say except for, you know, just that little piece of just just do it. Just do it. It don't have to be perfect, y'all. Thank you, guys. Everybody that visited my website, everyone that went on there and made purchases, I thank you all so, 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 so much. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Thank you for letting me know what I do need to, you know, different ways that I can improve, um, the website and things of that nature. Like I said, I am a one woman show and it's not perfect, but that's okay. That's the, that's the whole point of it. Like if it was perfect, if I was perfect and it was perfect and everything was perfect, like why would we need God anyway? So I'm like, riddle me that Batman. Riddle me that. Thank you, Keisha. I'm just, you know, it just, I said I wasn't going to say nothing, but my God, somebody needs to hear this because there's somebody out there that has like a million dollar idea, that has a billion dollar idea that, that God already gave you the green light to just go ahead and do it. But you're worried about what the next person got to say about it. You're worried about trying to impress your friends. You're worried about all the wrong stuff. Do what he told you to do. He's not a respecter of a person. You think that you you think that if God told um if God whatever he did for somebody else that he wouldn't do it for you? Money is spent on the imperfect things every day. Exactly. Exactly. So just do it like just just get get it done. It don't have to be perfect either. Like you'll learn as you go along. You'll learn as you go along. But you got to start from somewhere. You got to start from somewhere. Like, you think that um, Amazon was perfect when they first started? You think Amazon, hey, Chechi, you think Amazon was perfect when they first started? Come on, man. That, Bezos, what's his name? Jeff Bezos? I don't even know how much money he got. He worth a lot. I know his, when him and his wife divorced, she got, she's still a billionaire. Come on, like, let's be real, y'all. Just, you know, stop what it is. I'll tell you what it is because it was me. I, I, I did this too. I, it, it's the fear of it. You fear what other people got to say or going to say about you. You got you to gotta get out of that fear because guess what? No matter what you do, people going to always have something to say. People going to always have something to say. No matter what, they're never going to be happy. They are not going to be happy. And it's not, it, 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 it just is what it is. It's not that it's you, but it is that it's you. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not, it can't just, it's not me, Joy. Joy, this is what I tell myself. I'll be like, Joy, it's not me. And then I'll be like, but yeah, but it is me. So when I say that part, yeah, I understand that because it is me that's doing things. People are not going to like it. They're not going to like me regardless. They don't like when I sit back and be quiet. They don't like when I open my mouth. They don't like when I don't come out. They don't like when I do come out. So who cares? Like at the end of the day, which one of those people 
that got so much to say? Which one of those people name is on a deed to my house? Which one of those people pay any bill up in my house? Which one of those people put gas in my car? Which one of those people, you, you just name it. Which one of those people are doing, and guess what? And honestly, and even if they was doing something for me, I, was, I still wouldn't care. So what? If God put it on your heart to do something, God loves a cheer, cheerful giver. I get it. So do that cheerfully. If you're going to give and donate, do that cheerfully. Joy, OMG, that's what I always say. People will find something negative to talk about regardless. So I better do it anyway. <laughs> so I won't have regret. Not even, listen, it is not even the regrets for me at this point, Keisha. It's about me not obeying God. What I look like. What, <laughs> how much, how foolish, how foolish would I look if I, if I worried about pleasing people i look real i would look so silly instead of just obeying god like he the one that make it happen anyway it's all his the earth is the lord and the fullness thereof <laughs> it's all his the world and they that dwell with them it's all his he created all of us people all ever how many billion I don't know how many billion people it is in the world now because I ain't Googled it today. But it's billions of us. Like, you think <laughs> you think I'm going to try to please billions of people when all I got to do is just please my creator? I think it would be for me. Now, I can't tell y'all what to do, but for me, it's so much easier. I find life so much easier when I just work towards pleasing him and doing the things that I do as a form of worship to him, as a form of me obeying him, because I call and because I am a believer, I believe God. I'm going to let God be true and every man be a liar, including me, including me, because I'm a human man. I'm a man. I'm a woman. So yeah, I'm gonna let God be true and every man be a liar. So that's it. That's just that on that, y'all. Just do what God told you to do. Like imagine, imagine you sitting there and, and worried about what the next person is doing. And meanwhile, he done gave you a whole business idea and everything to go ahead and do what you whatever it is that he wants you to do. He done gave you a whole assignment. But you you ain't you just sitting back talking crazy. You sitting back talking crazy about everybody else instead of you doing what you are supposed to do. Walking in your calling, like, don't worry about what Joy doing. Don't worry about what I'm doing. And if it bothers you that much, help. Volunteer to help. I'm just saying, if it bothers, if it aggravates you that much, what I am doing, what God told me to do, then see if you can help. But before you come around these hair parts to help, make sure that you are 100%, not just in alignment, because you can be in alignment with the wrong things, okay? I know I did it before. I did it. I used to do it all the time. But to be in divine alignment. So that's my goal is just 100% to be in divine alignment be on my divine assignment. I had an assignment. God had an assignment and a calling on my life before I was ever born, before my parents even figured that, you know what, we gonna name this little girl Joy. He already knew what it was. He already knew what it was. So, what am I, I mean, I'm 38 years old. It took me 38 years to get to this point to finally just go ahead and just do it, to finally jump and take a leap, just like how my logo looks, like just for me to leap out and do it. And all I got to say is this, anybody got a problem, take it up with the CEO. Take it up with my CEO. You can send all complaints to the CEO. I mean, every complaint that you have Send it to my CEO, please. And surely, 
when we go into our next business meeting, meaning me and the CEO, my CEO, for me and my, and you see it's a capital, you got to capitalize the G when you're talking about my CEO. Okay, capitalize the G when you're talking about my CEO. But if you got a problem with anything, if Joy says something that rubbed you the wrong way, or, you know, if Joy did something that you just, just take it up with my CEO, and surely he will bring it to my attention in my next uh, business meeting, because <laughs> we have them on a regular basis. So that's all I got to say. I ain't going to say, I, that, that's it. That's it, you guys. So Anyway, make sure you check out my website, www.livingwithjoyllc.com. I do have some more um, items that I have to upload on there. But like I said, y'all, I'm a one-woman show. <sighs> I, I started creating my website on Saturday night, and it was finished and completed. Yesterday, around 6 in the evening, is when I just went ahead and hit the button to go ahead and publish it. Um, by the grace of God, to God gets all the glory. We are seeing um, sales and traffic coming in on there. So I just want to thank all of my joyous ones, all of my customers. Thank you guys for subscribing. Um, thank you for your purchases. It is not going unnoticed. Like I said, when you guys support me, you're literally helping me to keep those lights on. You are helping me to keep that roof over me and my child's head and it's very much appreciated i appreciate all of you guys i thank you guys so much and you know that's just that so i will catch y'all later oh and let me just go ahead and let my customers know that as of 6 p.m this evening we will officially be on vacation for the next week um, so yeah, so we will get all orders sent out and fulfilled um, upon us returning from vacation. So I just want to say thank you guys again. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you guys for tuning into my live or catching the replay. And don't forget to go to www.livingwithjoyllc.com. Um, I do have a few coupon codes available. For the signature collection purchases, the coupon code is all capital letters LAUNCH. And for the waist and thigh slimmer, the coupon code is SLIMMER. S-L-I-M-M-E-R, all capital letters. LAUNCH, L-A-U-N-C-H, all capital letters. So once again, thank you guys. I will holler at y'all later. Bye.